Hi everybody. I'm a little late. Um, it's Sunday. Doing the live thing again. Let's see if I can show uh, my situation here. Got everything out here on my table, and I'm on my iPad, so it's a little different. So, Laholi, how you doing? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. I'm trying to get this thing set up right. Hi, Jennifer. So, how are you guys doing today? Thank you for coming. I know it's been a while since I did my Sunday Live. I appreciate you being here. Um, you know, I tried to go live at that big church rummage sale that I was at. Um, was it Friday? And uh, I was only on for like 12 minutes and it started buffering and that was the end of it. So I'm sorry that ended abrupt abruptly. I'm sorry that it was a little blurry. That's the way it goes. Hi, Martha. And hi, Belinda. Thank you guys for coming. And hey, um, oh, thanks, Jennifer. Love you too. You're just a faithful watcher. You've been a watcher for a long time. You guys, um, all of you, I appreciate you. Even though I don't have a channel that's really happening, you know, there's not too much going on on here, but um, I'm glad you are faithful to watch me. Oh, Cheryl, I hope you're feeling better. Thanks for coming. I saw on Facebook you weren't feeling too good. I hope you're better. Um, so I got a, I got friend mail from Jewelry Nurse. Cindy. Cindy knows I love Monet. And she is so sweet to save me Monet and send me Monet. I can't believe she does this all the time, but she does. My chair needs oiled, so if you hear if you hear some squeaking, it's my chair. Are you feeling better? I know she sent me a card with it, so I read the card, and then I'm kind of like, oh, now I know what's in it. <laughs> I cut myself short. Oh, well, thanks, Belinda. Wee! Nice sparkly red paper. Oh, look at those. Pretty Monet hoops that are... I think they're Monet. Wait a minute. Well, no, I don't think they are because they don't have the right uh, the right backing. Well, no, wait. Maybe they're the newer ones. Okay. They are Monet, but um, this is a different kind of back that I'm used to seeing. You know, I'm used to seeing the closed paddle back. Um... But, of course, these wouldn't be that because they're pierced. What am I thinking? Yeah, wake up, Angie. Time to, to drink some more coffee. <laughs> but these are Omega backs, so they are very pretty. They're cream, cream colored, gold on the trim, and Omega backs. Little hoops, and I don't think I have those, so that is... Wonderful. Thank you so much, Cindy. And there's two other things. Let's see what the other things are. I can't believe how generous she is. I'm sorry that just like half of me, half of my face is showing. That's probably kind of frustrating or whatever. She said there's a pin in here. Hi, Teresa. How are you doing? I think this feels like the pin. Nope, this is a... Uh, this is... I don't know what it is. Let's look. The necklace, but... Um, or is it a necklace? Or is it two things? Let me see. Let me see here. This is very cute. Maybe it's a newer Monet. No, 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 it's not a 
It is not a Monet, but it's very cute. It has a little bead. It's really just my style, too. It's it's uh, got a little bead flower. Can you see that? I think I have it kind of kind of inside each other here. Let me get it right. There we go. You're decorating for fall? Oh, that's, I bet that smells good in your house. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? I like that. That's very cute. It's just my style. I will definitely wear that. How do you like my cows? I love cows. It's Ben and Jerry's. Hey, Ro. I am having a bus week. Hey, Fran. How are you doing, Fran? Fran, sorry about the live the other day it just it just went away it just 12 minutes of it was all it could take i guess of that awesomeness in there at that church sale um this is one of those things i guess you capture maybe pearls on or else maybe you can put uh you know some kind of strands of jewelry into it so that's cool or, or maybe even a uh, scarf, I don't know, but that's neat. I love shells, so that's cool, very cute. And there's one more thing, and this is from Jewelry Nurse for all who just, just joined. I know what this is, because she had told me she put this back for me a while back. Hey, Carla. So, so Cindy sent me a picture of this. She's just like, showed me on um, a me messenger and she's like asking me questions. When do you think this is from? And, you know, I was telling her what, what I thought she might get for it and stuff like that. And then she said, then she ends up saying, well, I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. I think I have a gold one. Very similar, but oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. I will love that for my collection. That's a nice one. Because it is, uh, it's like polished, polished silver tone. I don't know why it's looking green or something up there. It's not. It's very nice. It's very nice condition. It's polished, um, ribbed, and then it's got these segments. And then in here, it's like Florentine finish, uh, gold, uh, silver tone. It's really pretty. I like it. Thank you, Cindy. What a blessing you are. And there's the back of it. See how well it's made? Very nicely made. I'd say that's from the um, maybe late 70s. I'm not sure. Late 70s, 80s. I love that. And I don't have that one. And I don't have as many silver tone items. I have like just one box of silver silver things <coughs> excuse me but it's full it's a full box and i have like two two or three boxes of the gold stuff yeah it is different hi kathleen how you doing so <clears throat> i have been a few places and got things since i've seen you guys oh i forgot i was going to do my sales Uh, I'll just tell you, I had, I had some sales. <laughs> I sold a pair of, uh, Monet hoops. I sold a Persian painted pin from the 20s, uh, like a porcelain painted pin. Um, I sold it for 45 or something. I sold the, the hoops for 36 or 7. Um, and there's something else. I forget what the other thing is. Something else. Anyway, I did have some sales, so that's good. I have been thrifting. And uh, Crazy Lamp Lady has had kind of a, an effect on me because I have been picking up things that I don't normally pick up. Uh, so, consequently, I'm going to have a haul uh, in addition to this live video thank you Teresa 
in addition to this live video, I'm going to have a, a haul of non-jewelry stuff. So that will be coming. It's, uh, you know, mid-century things, you know, plates and stuff like that that I don't know why I got. Just because they were cool, I got them. So when I was with Vincent, I don't know if y'all saw that video or not when I was live in the Black Rose. Um, it was mostly just me and the jewelry uh, section. There was just a little bit of Vincent on there, which is um, Vin, uh, Vinny's, Vin, Vintage Vinny. Uh, that's his channel, so you, you want to check him out. Hi, Willow. Thanks for coming. Uh, I got some things down there, and I'm going to show you what I got. This is probably my favorite thing. Um, and if it fit... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ro. Um, yeah, Willow, welcome. If it's your first time here, I, I've seen you at different places, but um, thanks, thanks for coming to my channel. Um, so this is probably my favorite thing. And if it fit, if it fit my right finger, I would wear it, but it's just a little bit too big for my little finger. Let me show you this thing. It's cool. So it's got moving parts on it. It's sterling ring. It's chunky. It's you know, the epitome of steampunk, I guess, because it's got all these moving parts. It's got this little mover, got that little wheel on top. Hi, Jade. And then it's got this little roundy wheel that goes around like that. So we got that going on. And we got this going on. And um, I don't think it comes apart, although it looks like you could maybe take it out of there somehow. I haven't tried to take it apart or anything. I don't know why you'd want to anyway. It's uh, marked inside, but I haven't been able to read the mark yet. It's kind of like a laser mark inside a uh, signature. And I don't think it's all there, um, but it is sterling. And the signature is in um, script. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but It's in there. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. It's in there. Anyway. So who, who, I, I don't, that's cool. You think so? Would you have bought that? If it was my size, I'd definitely keep it. But I'm going to have to sell it. I have a high SM. Oh, okay. I think I might have a troll. <laughs> Do I have any mods? Maybe I need to make some mods. Hi, Karis. Hi, Priscilla. Hmm. I wonder if I can make mods here. What's the secret of my long life? Well, I'm a Christian, for one thing. That helps me. That helps me out a lot. Um, hey, Barb. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Barb. You saved the day. You didn't save the day. Oh, oh, it was hidden by Cracky. Cracky, I didn't see you coming. Thank you. Jesus is the secret of my long life. In fact, it's going to be eternal. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be forever. <laughs> oh, he must be here somewhere. Hi, South London reseller. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was able to sneak that in there. I love that. I love that. <laughs> okay, what else did I get down there? Cracky. Sorry you couldn't get the chat on your screen. Oh, that's okay. Uh, amen, Priscilla. <laughs> oh, we'll be neighbors, Angie. Yeah. I cannot wait to, you know, give all you guys a hug because I am going to, you know, all my reseller family... That, uh, that know the Lord Jesus is going to be there. And won't that be cool? We'll have the biggest reseller meetup ever. <laughs> Diana, that's right. Yes, I forgot your name. Thanks for coming back. Uh, oh, uh, Barb is asking how... Um, hi, Mo hi, Anna Mora. 
Barb's asking how Joey is. My my dog Joe, who's a Sheltie, had uh, what I think now might have been a, like a mini stroke. Um, he's getting better. He's slowly getting better. Um, yeah, let me get him. He's right down here. Josie, come here, boy. What you doing? Are you sleeping? Oh, come here. Come here. Oh. Oh, my Josie. My Joe is my heart. He's my heart. I'm telling you. So, he, um, he was leaning. He's really sleepy. Are you sleepy, boy? Uh, he's, he was leaning to this side, this side here. And uh, his his eye even looked kind of blinky, like, and his and his ear was drooping down. And um, when he walked, he'd just go, he'd just swivel all over the place. So um, yeah, it, he's slowly getting better, slowly. But um, thank you for your thoughts and prayers, Joey. Look in there, people want to see your cute face. Wake up a minute. Wake up a minute. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, he's doing better. Oh, Dwayne's here. Hi, Dwayne. Well, Desi, she's she's jealous. So we gotta get Desi up here. There's my other little girl. <laughs> she's three and she's healthy and she's full of herself. Aren't you? You wanna play? Do you want to play? Where's your stick? Where's your toys? Huh? Where is your toys? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jade. Okay, that's enough of the pups. Thanks for asking, though. Thanks for caring. Oh, you have, you have two dogs, too? Thank you. Thanks. I love them. I love them so much. Probably too much, <laughs> but I do love them. Um, so, I got another ring when I was down there. And uh, this is the ring here. It's, uh, it's abalone, but it's, and I've had another one like this. Um, the finish is textured like. Um, it's sterling. Um, yeah, it's got kind of a textured finish. It's very pretty, though. And, um, I paid, oh, that other ring I paid, I think I paid 12 for each one of these rings. The, the first one and this one, too. I paid, it was either 15 for the first one. I know this one was 12. But, um, it's pretty. But I don't know if you've ever seen that kind of abalone that is uh, that has texture to it. I mean, it even feels kind of, uh, feels like your linoleum floor or something. It just feels smooth, but yet, I can't explain it. Anyway, I got that. You haven't seen it before? Yeah, let me see if I can get a closer up of it. I wish this was better at uh, bringing the picture in. I don't guess I can. Oh, I can do that. Ooh, I don't want to do that on me. <laughs> still not the, still not the greatest uh, picture. And let's see. When I was down there, I got, um, what's the other stuff I got in here? Oh, I got this cross. This is very nice. It's uh, marked Israel on the back, and it is sterling. And it was $10. So I think I'll get a good price for that. Marked 95 in Israel. Oh, okay. I didn't know they could harvest the abalone from the shell lip. Hmm. 
So that's an Israel cross, sterling. I think the design of it's really nice. It's a bigger, you know, it's not the typical smaller cross that you see. Yeah, I think somebody's really gonna like that. Kind of brutalist in its style. And I guess it doesn't matter what order I go in because I can't locate what else I got down there. Oh, I got this down there. Looks like a, you know, kind of a filigree, kind of a cross between filigree and canateal type work. Um, it's gold tone and it has lost some of its finish on the on the balls there, the middles of those um, flowers, but yet I think it looks nice like that. I think it looks like it was made uh, like that. So it's not, doesn't take away from it. It's, it's not perfect. It's got some wear on it, but I still think it's nice. I picked that up for five. It's nicely made on the back and everything. So I don't expect to get a whole lot for that, but I, I do think it'll sell just because of the design of it. It's pretty. I think that's all I got down there. But I got some things from um, when I went to the church rummage sale and also some things off eBay right recently. So. In no particular order, I'm just going to show you those things. This I got at the church rummage sale. It was uh, five, but it's uh, Monet. And I think I have the bracelet that goes with it. I'm not sure. Um, the, the pattern is very familiar to me. I'm pretty sure I had the bracelet. I have to check. Um, it's in nice, nice condition. It's probably... It looks to me 70s because that uh, brush or that um, like rich kind of textured finish was a lot in the 70s. I mean, they made it like that a lot in the 70s, late 70s. So I think that's when that's from. And I like that. I'm pleased with that. This is something I got at the church rummage sale. It was, I think, three. Yeah, it's substantial. It's nice. It's a nice one. This is uh, 1928, which you know is a good, a good resell um, company to resell. And it's one of these little lockets. It's a long chain, long gold tone chain. And it's one of these that has the three openings. Oh, it it um, it twirls, twirls like that, and then it's got three locket openings around the around that little ball like like that each one of the little sections opens so I thought that was cute for pretty sure that was three three or four so I'll see if I can put that on Etsy um, Things sticking to me. I got this in there. I, I got it mainly for the um, chain. I forgot to take the thing off of it. Here's how they had them marked. They had like a black dot was so much and a blue dot and a red dot. So I think this one was two, two or three. I think probably three. But this is a sterling chain. So pretty much just got it for the chain because I'm not sure about this. I don't even know what it what that represents. It's not sterling. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what it is. If it's a bird, if it's a serpent, if it's I uh, I don't know what it is. It's kind of an abstract pendant, but I'll probably just take that off of there, I'm thinking. Put something else on the nice chain. And you know how I like my birds. Hey Swamp, what's the name of my Etsy store? It is Dazzled by Vintage. And um, on my channel, on my YouTube channel, um, on my main page of my YouTube channel, there's a little 
um, square in the right hand corner that says find me on Etsy and if I forget to put the link in the chat or, the, or, or the description you can go right there and find me but it's all one word dazzled by vintage so here's the cute bird um, brass bird earrings that I got aren't they neat they're big, but I heard big is trending for fall, so. Oh, okay, good. So, I don't know. I haven't looked to see if there's any like this. There probably is. But when I got to that church sale, it was the second day. I don't know why I didn't think to look the first day. I mean, that, that there was any sales, but I didn't. So the jewelry was really picked over. I was just lucky to get what I got. and It's not that fantastic, but I think I can do something with it. This is a cool pendant. I put it on this chain. Um, it's kind of different, right? It's got a fish and it's got a like a silver metal fish with a, a brass round etched thing. Thank you, Cracky. I was wondering if you were going to do that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so that's that. That's a long chain. It's that. And I got... I think that's... Yeah, I got these. Uh, I think I got these on eBay in a lot. They are uh, open work, cut out... Uh, clip earrings. There's a pendant that goes with it, but I'm not sure if I will keep it with it because it, it does have some wear on it, so maybe I'll just uh, sell the earrings. I'm not sure. I mean, the wear is not too bad, but it's just a little bit more, there's just a little more wear on the pendant than with the um, earrings, and the, the pendant did not come with the chain, so I'm not sure if I'll put them together or just sell the earrings. I don't know. The earrings are pretty cool, though, and coin jewelry always does well for me, so there's those. These are pretty cute. These are, I think, a Roman. Um, if they started, if you're familiar with Roman, maybe they started uh, putting RMN in there as their, you know, signature, because that's what's inside these, and I'm just... Assuming that RMN is Roman, but I'm not really sure. But these look like something that would be Roman, uh, made by Roman. Uh, they're they're really nice. They're they're hoops with uh, some CZs or whatever in there, crystals or CZs, and they're made really nice. And there's no wear on them. So and inside they're signed RMN. These were in that lot. They're just little hearts, puffed hearts, which are Monet. Um, this I got on eBay also. It's a Monet. Silver tone. It's pretty much looks like hearts, too. Um, there's the hang tag. It'll be from my silver tone box. Um, this is Monet. I've never seen an, anything like this from Monet. So this is a long, very long chain with a puffed heart on it. Textured. Perfect, perfect condition. Chain's really sparkly. The heart's really sparkly. I'm not a heart person myself, so I get a lot of heart things. Um, not, not intentionally, because usually I don't buy heart things, but I end up with heart things in lots. These are also, um, oh, thanks, thanks, Roberta. That is a nice piece, though, for a heart. Oh, it's also a locket. Yeah, I didn't say that. It's a locket, too. I don't know if I opened that up or not. Did I? Oh, it's got, it's a spring, too. It snaps back shut. 
fast. So it opens and it really shuts good, really has good spring action there. These are, I always get the name wrong on those. And I, I always say Diana and I don't think that's it. <laughs> But I do have the brooch that matches these. Um, so I got these earrings in the lot on eBay. Is it, it starts with a C, I think. You have that brooch too. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, very prop, popular one. I think it was actually said in the book that it was Monet's most popular brooch. Start, hey Velvet, how you doing? Hey, Marty. Uh, it starts with a C. Something like Camille. I don't know. Oh, I was happy about this. I think this is cute. And I think it's old because of the chain link. If anybody knows... Uh, is it fireworks? No, it's not fireworks. Um, if anybody knows the name of the link of this chain, I just want to say crinkle something, but it's not... Maybe I'm just describing it instead of really knowing what the name of it is. But I love the link of this chain. Always have because every piece that I've ever gotten that's got this link of chain has been very, very old. You see that? It's very long. I mean, the, it's elongated, the um, links, right? And then they're crinkly-like. Um, kind of like... I don't know, paper clip type, maybe. I I just can't remember what someone has called these before. Karen probably knows. Um, but here's the rest of it. It's a, it's a sautus, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, S-A-U-T-O-I-R, sautur necklace is the one, is ones that, it's not, well, it's supposed to be longer than this for a sauteur, I think. But any, it's the style that it just kind of, you just kind of tie it. Tie it and let it hang. But um, this one's a short one. So maybe you wouldn't call it a sauteur. But isn't that pretty? It's old, right? These are glass. They're, they're kind of worn around the edges. There's, you know, wear to that, the edges of the, the glass, but could be a check piece. I'm not sure. I figured you'd like that row. Looks like something you would like. Um, yeah, it could be check. I don't know. No one knows the name of that chain, huh? Nobody knows the name of that chain. Does anybody have anything that's that's got that link of chain? If you do, it's probably pretty old. Yeah, I like the red too. Be nice for Christmas. If you had a really if you were young and you had a really skinny neck, it'd be perfect. <laughs> Here's another oldie but a goodie. Ah, uh, you're still in school. <laughs> It's hard to find Monet in the UK. Is it really? I wondered about that. Huh. I guess it would be. But there's probably brands that we can't find that, that are more plentiful over there. Right? Here's another very old piece. It's probably Czech. I got this at the uh, flea mall, or at, at the um, antique mall. Yeah. Pretty sure I got that down there. Uh, I would say that's check glass. This is glass. Look at the pretty. It's a briolet, I think they call those. Briolet. And. Oh, expensive tiaras. Now it could be. Could be finished off a little bit better up here. I I want to. I would like to have a nicer cap on that bead because it just seems like it doesn't fit very well. It seems like it should have a nice, longer filigreed cap on it. 
Yeah, that's like a light cobalt blue. It's not really the, you know, the, the brilliant cobalt blue, but it's a light, uh, a lighter blue. And it's got that real dark chain, you know. It's, it's actually got some black beads in there, too. And it's got the real dark, dark findings and dark chain, so you know it's old, too. And I was surprised that it has the regular spring ring clasp instead of the one that, that doesn't have the knob. Because I thought maybe it would be one that doesn't have the knob, which indicates it's like 1900s, 1920s, around in there, I think, if I'm remembering right. <coughs> and these I think I got in a lot. They're pretty cool if you like copper. I've never seen any with kind of a Indian design. Is it Aztec? Is it Indian? What is it? I don't know. Um, they're kind of pretty. Probably could use some polishing up or something, but they're screw back. Um, I wouldn't touch the front of them. They're supposed to be like that on the front, but I might clean the back of them up a little bit. I like the design of them. They're old, too. I like the older stuff, you know. I don't, don't particularly, not really into the newer stuff that much. Um, these, I just thought were different. Isabel's here. Hi, Isabel. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you made it. Um, these are kind of... I don't know, there's a world there, there, and then there's people, and then there's like an animal, and a dolphin, and a bird. So, I'm sure they'd signify something, but, you know, I'm not sure what, where they came from. But they're, I like the colors of them, the black and the green. I like that they're open work. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you. And uh, these... If I see cloisonne uh, or enamel work that looks like cloisonne, um, I know it doesn't sell for a whole lot, but if I see it and it's pretty design, I'm picking it up. Uh, so I got these at that church sale. And they were, all the earrings in there were uh, 50 cents a piece. So I just like the, um, you know, Tibetan or Indian or, you know, Nepal type feel or look that I got when I, you know, when I looked at these, I just thought of Indian, India, so. And I like the colors, so I got those. And these, these, these were also 50 cents. And these were too, and I, I think they're sterling. I think they say sterling on them. Let me look. Textured cable chain. Hmm. That would be, that would that would describe it, yeah. Um, yeah, they, they say sterling on them, I thought so. And I don't think that's amber because there's no little pieces in there. I'm not sure, though. Um, but their little flower earrings, these were also 50 cents. They're screw back. Um, I normally don't pick up screw back, but I thought these were really pretty. Plus, they were 50 cents and sterling, so... I thought, why not, for 50 cents, and they say sterling on the, on the ends there. Somebody will probably buy those. Look how they glow. They're very pretty. But I don't know. I know if they're amber, they're not cold. So, these aren't cold, but they don't have any little mark, little, uh, particles in them. You don't know how to respond to the people who say hello in the chat. Uh, I miss that. <coughs> um, these were in a lot too, and they are uh, Baribi. Uh, Baribi is a good seller, so I, I like the design of those, and they're pierced earrings, and uh, I've sold a good many Baribi, uh, Edgar Baribi earrings, and they're marked right there. Um, so I 
think I can sell those. I like the black and gold. And they're pretty. They're in really nice condition. I think it was like a black. Hi, Douglas. How are you? I think it was like a black and um, gold lot that I bought. So. And they were in there. Um, those are nice Buridi. I thought so, too. I thought they were pretty. They're a nice size. They're a nice design. It's pretty hard to find a legend of the names of vintage chain. I know, because I've looked for that chain. And, you know, they have a lot of images on Google, but I have not found that one. I think my best bet would be look in my, um, my jewelry books and just scour them, because I've got a good many jewelry books. It's probably in there somewhere. These are cute. Pierced earrings, they're in nice condition. They're not signed, but they're kind of cool, the style of them, kind of cool. Okay, what else do we have? Just uh, another, and I think I have, I have another one of these, I'm pretty sure, but this is a Monet uh, chain. Pretty, y'all probably pretty familiar with this. It's a pretty common one. It's the double curb link, Monet chain, flat curb link. Hey, Tanya, thanks for coming. How are you? I was watching the video, the guy that wore the same shirt and then he gave you the, the jewelry. That was epic. That was epic. I love that video. I love that guy that gave you that jewelry. So nice. Um, <laughs> These say sterling, but I'm going to have to test them because I'm not really sure. Um, if they are sterling, you know how some sterling looks so light silver, so light colored silver, like it's almost coated or something. That's the way these look, so I'm not sure. Um, they have 925 on the back of them. Um, I don't know, but they were 50 cents, so I got them. Uh, I will have to test them. They have different bright colors in them. I I, I would say they are um, faux gemstones too, synth synthetic synthetic stones in them. Got some knot earrings. I like my knots. I probably have sold the same same ones of these. So if I look in, are you okay, Joey? Oh, Joey. Joe's been coughing, too. Um, if I look in my solds, and uh, I have seen that I have sold the same thing, and I pick up another pair, uh, all I have to do is relist, you know, my old, my old listing. And uh, that comes in really handy. I've done that lots of times, that I come across the same exact thing, and I just go back and, you know, pick out where I sold that and relist the same thing. Same listing. And I think I might have this. I'm not sure. This is Monet. Um, this one came in a lot. Uh, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but it came in that lot of some things that I wanted. Um, it's like got that stained glass effect of um, enameling on it. It's pretty. It looks like fall, so that's a plus, right? Hi, Nic Nic Nicoletta. How are you? Thank you for coming. It does look like fall, so I do like it for that. So I need to get that listed. Uh, this was in, I had a whole bunch of charms. And I just had them in a, in a bag, and I was like collecting them. I was looking through them uh, recently. And I picked one out, and I thought, that one's really made well. And here on the back, it said Monet. And I thought, I didn't know I had a Monet charm. So then I got this Monet necklace chain that's really pretty. And it was just the chain, so I put that... Actually, it's a pendant. I put the boat pendant on that chain, and it looks really nice. So that's... Both of those pieces are Monet. The chain came in that lot I was telling you about, and the pendant was mine. Hey, Lisa, you just got the notification. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm going, I'm just pressing the live on my iPad. That's how I'm doing it. I'm not using StreamYard because I can't, 
this drives me crazy with StreamYard. I cannot, I cannot do it. I can't get perspective on where to show my jewelry, and I'm not, I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just not doing it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go live on my iPad, and there's no way to set a notification other than I just thought of this in church, and uh, while the preacher was like saying a verse you know, reading a verse out of Psalms, I was putting a notification on the YouTube app that I was going to go live at 1.30. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and then I had to ask, my, ask, and I asked Dick, I said, what was that Psalm? And he gave me a, he gave me kind of a bad look. Because <laughs> I'm not supposed to be on my phone in church, I guess. Especially not when the preacher's preaching. Here's a here's a Monet. Um, I like this a lot. This is really different. Um, it's one of these charm holders. And uh, silver. Very pretty. Very nice, nice chain. And uh, must be kind of newer. Because did you notice that anybody that collects or has Monet... The, the, the hang tag on the newer ones, I believe, is tiny. You know, the hang tag on the older pieces is more substantial, bigger. Um, so, hi, Tatiana. So, yeah, I, I do love this. I do think it's a newer piece, maybe 90s, um, late 80s, maybe, because I do know that somewhere in the 80s, these things here were pretty popular. Um, so maybe it was 80s, but yeah, and all these are, are marked Monet too. all these little charms They're marked Monet on them. There's a butterfly and a cross and uh, A heart or something What do you know a heart so I do like that? I don't know what what in the world's gonna happen to that collection Kind of dread having to do something with it because I have no idea how to value it it, it's going to be a lot. Here's another Monet. <laughs> this is a cute beaded bracelet. Uh, you don't see this very much for Monet. Um, okay, yes, yeah, definitely a fall necklace. That other one. You don't see these little type of, at least I don't come across them, these little type of bead um, bracelets or jewelry. What happened to my buckle? What happened to my buckle? My buckle went wonky. Oh. There you go. Got twisted. That's what happened. Twisted. Oh. Oh. Um, but this is very pretty. Look at the gold tone on the back. It's really well made. Um, of, a, of the newer Monet... You know, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of the newer Monet, but this is like on the cusp. This is, this must be right at the line <laughs> uh, where it started going downhill because it is newer and it is nice. So, um, I do like this. The clasp could be a little bit better well made, but uh, I do like it. I think it's well made and it's pretty. I like the colors in it. I got this faux damascene uh, bracelet, but I really like it. It's one of those that have the panels and uh, one of those that have the segments. And these panels are pretty thick. They're pretty substantial. Um, and they're, they've got the silver and the gold on them. And I think it's just a really pretty piece. Um... I got this at the, the uh, Black Rose, I'm pretty sure. Got that down there. It would have been five. I think it was five, yeah. But I know they don't sell for probably much, but I think the, the bracelets that are um, thicker like this and with the segments, I think they sell pretty good. Um, yeah, the vintage Monet is the best. 
definitely the best. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, this is cool. This I got at the church yard uh, indoor sale. This was only two dollars, I think, or a dollar. Um, and it's very cool because I love lucite stuff. I love clear lucite stuff. This has a. Um, can you see it? Can you see what's in it? Can't really see it up there. It's got a four-leaf clover in it. Isn't that cute? So I liked it. I like anything that's clear lucite. I mean you. And it's very vintage. Yeah, it's lucky. <laughs> It's, I don't know. I'm not sure when these things were popular. I want to say like late 50s, early 60s maybe. I'm not really sure. But um, this is the first one that I've got. That uh, I've gotten pendants before with them in. But this is like the first cube thing I've got with it in. So. And... I think that's it for my tray, my tray. Oh wow, it's time to go. That went pretty fast. I think I'm gonna go. I have a couple more things, but I'll show you this yet because I got this down at the uh, Black Rose. This was the, the necklace that I got down there. Um, I think this is some kind of a low grade silver. Um, this is like a Tibetan silver, and perhaps, I'm thinking, carnelian beads. Um, so, there's the, there's the clasp on it, and uh, it's got, it's, it's done with green thread, so it's pretty old, pretty old. I think it's pretty though. It's it's kind of a neat, a neat uh, piece, kind of boho, boho for sure. Tribal necklace. So that is it. I have to thank Miss Tanya if she's still here, my friend Tanya, because I told her that I missed the boat on Lonnie's. She's still here. Yeah, I was thinking that old too when you said that thread. Yeah. I told Tanya that I wanted one of these and I missed the boat, plus shipping on top, because I always loved when he said that, and uh, she made sure I got one, because I didn't think there was any left, but I did get uh, the new one, so I got this one and the new one, but I missed out on the orange one, but, um, so for breast cancer, uh, that Thank you for, for making that donation for me, um, Tanya. And thank you for getting me that that um, mug. I really appreciate it. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, show you one more thing. Isn't this cute? <laughs> I got this at the, the church. I got this at the church. Um, I have to clean it yet. It looks like it's a little dusty, dingy. But... The beads just reminded me of, like, jewelry. And, you know, it's old. I am, I am, I do love it. I gotta read what's on the bottom of here. G-I-R-A-U-D. I think it might say Limoges. Limoges. L I M O. I think it might say Limoges, France on it. Limoges, Limoges. Don't know. I didn't know they did stuff like that, but um, part of the part of the uh, signature's missing. Thing needs cleaned up a lot, but isn't that cute? <laughs> Tanya can get me some extra time. <laughs> that might be worth some bucks. I think it could be. I got it for a dollar. 
I have to check it out. I've never seen anything like it. It's very, very cute. All right. I'm going to go. I need extra time, too. <laughs> um, so I'm going to list some stuff today, I guess. Or not. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming and not forgetting about me. And um, I'll be back. 60s and 70s, okay. Um, I'll be back sometime. Can't can't promise when exactly, you know, but I'll be back. I will be doing um, a video, a haul video, but it's it's not going to be live, I doubt. But it's going to be of the um, knickknacks and stuff that I got at that church sale. So, yeah. So, okay. Thanks, thanks for coming. Okay. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for putting my shop in again, Cracky. And thanks, uh, Diana, for coming, and Terry, and Kathleen, and Douglas, and all you guys. Thanks. See ya. Take care.